As a teaching artist, I dance. Um, I get to share my passion with kids, which is what I think brought me to this, this job to begin with, is just being able to share the joy of dance. But in the last 10 years, it's kind of, it's made a shift into really using dance as a curriculum integration tool to teach anything from science to math to social studies to language arts, health. So finding ways to use the creative experience to support what's going on in the classroom. Poitia Elementary School holds a really special place in my heart. This school has a Hawaiian immersion program, Kulakai Opuni, and I've seen it grow over, I've been here for over 20 years, and it's really flourishing these days. These kids come with a lot of energy. There's a, a different kind of um, vibe here because of the sense of ohana and Hawaiian culture, and I've been embraced by the teachers too. I've, I've learned to olelo Hawaii over the last 20 years, and I try to keep in putting that into my class and having that be a part of my lessons with the kids. We teaching artists have been working really hard lately to understand what's going on in the public schools and taking professional development in common core standards so that we're not just teaching curriculum ideas but we're really hitting grade level benchmarks and supporting what students should be learning at every grade level. I'm always trying to find a new, a new way to, to address something. A teacher will come and tell me that they're working, they're studying carbon and the cycle of matter, and, and I've got to now figure out a way to how, to how to incorporate that into dance. You know, this is a really amazing group of educators that are primed in a number of disciplines, particularly music and theater, um, visual arts, literary arts. The broad theme of our gathering this weekend is, um, you know, the artist as an agent of social change. Sort of the next direction in what this Teaching Artists Institute has been guiding me with is taking students to this sort of new direction where we're not just giving them art skills and Con teaching them the content, but we're giving them tools to become better humans, help them to succeed at whatever they do in life, wh whatever direction they may choose to take. So my dance classes, yeah, they're learning how to jump and turn and leap, and they're learning about land formations and math skills and language art skills, but they're also learning skills that are going to carry, that they can carry throughout their life, even if they never, you know, do another dance step again. The, the professional development that I've gotten from teaching artist institutes and networking with the folks um, from Oahu is that it, it keeps challenging me in new ways. If, if this job was the same job I had been doing 24 years ago, I wouldn't be doing it anymore. It, you know, I, I like things to be fresh and new and things like the teaching artist institute, sort of they, they revive you, they give you this new breath. and new challenges to come back in and try and apply in the classroom. One of the big ideas that I'm walking away with is that when I go into the classroom, I'm not actually teaching. I'm creating an, an environment where learning and growth can be cultivated. This is what art has the power to do, is to change our visual landscape, to um, expand our depth of perception through sound and light and image. Um, this is how the world changes. People see that something else is possible, um, and that's what artists do for us all. They make the seemingly impossible material by creating new iconography and imagery to help us grasp what might be. That's how the world changes. It was really enriching on a personal level and just gaining more clarity in myself so that when I walk into a classroom, I am really actualizing my true authentic self and in doing that I can create a richer environment, I can deliver my material in a way that is, I want to say believable, but understandable, that, that, that kids get it because I believe it, because I am that. <laughs>